The year was 1870. In January, 600 miles from Detroit at New York's East River, work began on a project that would usher in a new era of monumental construction, the Brooklyn Bridge. In July of that year, the Franco-Prussian War broke out, allowing Prussian Chancellor Otto von Bismarck the opportunity to achieve his long-desired goal, the establishment of the German Empire. And on a farm near Oak Grove, Wisconsin, an infant christened Bernard Francis is born. Years later, he would join the Capuchin Order at St. Bonaventure Monastery in Detroit, where he would become known to thousands upon thousands of souls nationwide as Father Solanus Casey. In that same year, Father Friedland commissioned New York-based architect Franz Himpler to design the most magnificent structure in the city of Detroit. And Himpler quickly set about the task before him. Although unusual for an architect in 19th century Berlin, Himpler was a burgeoning master of the Gothic revival, having designed several in his native Germany. For St. Joseph, he would evoke the German Hallenkirche, or Hall Church, resurrecting a medieval style largely ignored for the preceding 400 years, in which the nave and aisles are of near equal height, giving the impression of a single soaring space. Not limiting himself to just the planning of the structure, Himpler also drew the geometric patterns for the edifice's many stained glass windows, marking the first known occurrence of an American architect designing both glass and building. Within a few months, the limestone began to arrive by rail from a quarry downriver. And in August of 1871, they began to build. At a time when even the most skilled craftsmen earned only a dollar a day. For the construction of the new edifice, the faithful raised an astounding quarter of a million dollars. The New York Freeman's Journal. When we consider that the great majority of St. Joseph's congregation belong to the poorer class, and that hundreds of thousands of dollars are cheerfully donated to the erection of temples to the greater honor and glory of God on every side, we have reason to say, the faith still lives.